everyone. For this assignment, this is our first for our Prismacolor unit. I want to have everybody review and revisit the idea of color theory and how you can start to also begin to understand and use these pencils. So for this assignment, you're gonna be getting this worksheet um, that you're gonna work on, and then this just gets, when it's complete, pasted into the visual journal. Um, and you're going to need five colors, that's it. Do not be tempted to grab those secondary colors. So you're gonna need a red, a yellow, a blue, and a white, and a black. And make sure you're working with those Prismacolor colored pencils, okay, that's very important. So, and these are different pencils. If you've never worked with these before, you're gonna notice immediately that they feel a little different and how they uh, go on the paper. They, they're a little softer. You're gonna notice that you can only hand sharpen these. You never sharpen these uh, in an electric sharpener. You're gonna notice that they actually blend out together and the colors are stronger once you build them up to full opacity than your traditional regular old Crayola-like colored pencil, okay? So let's go to our sheet, all right? You have a sample of this that you're gonna be given in the room. You can follow that for where to place colors and color matching to help you. But we're gonna to go to a mostly blank page and just talk a little bit about how to begin with using these pencils and laying out your colors. So just as a reminder for color, focusing on just our three primaries, which hopefully all of you know this, but it's a review, is red, yellow, and blue. Those colors you have to have, and you cannot make them. All other colors can be built off of this color and then throwing in actually black and white. Um, so I would start on this worksheet by actually starting with the boxes here and then figuring out the color wheel, okay? Again, you are filling out this entire sheet from top to bottom. So every place there's a box, you're gonna fill it in with color. Um, this is good practice, everybody. You really need um, to do this work because it's not only that review for color, it's about control of how you're using your pencil, how you're blending out the colors, that is so important for this project. So up here, I would just fill these in with my red, yellow, and blue. I'm gonna skip that part. I wanna come down here and complete another row down here to start creating secondary colors. So I've already done the red, the yellow to create the orange for you to see kind of a guide of where I wanna get to. So I'm gonna start the next squares by working to our second secondary color, which will be green. So I'm gonna begin by just picking up my pencil and practicing using really even pencil strokes and creating a first layer of pencil. It's really crucial with Prismacolor colored pencils that you learn to blend. And oops, sometimes that does happen with this pencil, guys. I'm actually kind of glad you saw that. So if you drop these pencils, or they have been dropped, they break or shock the color rod in there very easily, so you might end up having to resharpen. All right, so you do have to be very careful with these pencils um, and try not to drop them or mishandle them in any way um, because otherwise you end up doing this sort of thing. I might actually abandon this for the video so you're not spending time watching me try to get this yellow pencil resharpened, but um, this is what tends to happen with Prismacolors, and sometimes you end up losing a lot of the pencil, which is quite annoying, actually. Um, okay, so let's come back to our sample. So I'm going to just put down a first foundational layer of yellow. You'll notice it's fairly light, uh, it's still translucent, and it's not really to this level of brightness in terms of the color where I'm fully opaque and it's really bright color on my page. So now I'm gonna to move to the blue and do the same thing. And again, I wanna set you up with good habits of how to begin working with these colored pencils from the very beginning. So I really hope that you follow um, these instructions and you practice working the pencil on the paper like this. Again, this is how you're gonna be really successful with the project, actually. All right, so I'm obviously headed towards the idea of green, right? I wanna make yellow and blue makes our green. Here's a uh, tip, a second major tip with Prismacolors to actually start to blend color. 
you want to start with the lighter color first. It's easier for me to add more blue and then add more yellow and go back and forth than for me to put blue down. And maybe I put too much blue, it's the darker value color, and then I can't walk back from that. I can't really correct that. So when I'm trying to create a true secondary color that lives right in between my yellow and my blue, and not leaning towards making like a yellow green or a blue green, I wanna start with that lighter color first, which whatever, whatever blending work I'm doing with whatever colors for the color I wanna to get to. So that's pretty decent, I've got that first layer. Now I'm going to very, very lightly just lay down and hopefully fairly consistent even layer of the blue over that yellow. And this first layering where I just have the blue sitting on top of the yellow, these colors are not really blended out. And it really just looks more like I have blue sitting on top of yellow. So this is just the first step to actually blending out to create that secondary color out of my two primary color pencils. So then I can go back in with my yellow and I'm gonna put another fine layer of that and start to see what is the sample starting to look like. What's the particular green I'm starting to get with the amount of colored pencil I already have sitting on my page? And if it starts looking a little bit too yellow, you know, I'm like, eh, that's a little bit too, of a, too much of a yellow green, then I'll go back in with my blue. If I'm liking it, I might continue just blending it out with another layer of yellow on top of this. I wanna put another very light yellow um, layer of blue on this, just a little bit. But what you're gonna to start to see happen is with slow patience of working these colored pencils, I am going to start to get a nice blended out green. And here's the thing, guys. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you really need to, you need to do this, you need to blend the primaries together. If you are grabbing green out of the box, first of all, I'm gonna know it, because the quality and the hue of the green that you get through blending work like this is much different than if you take that green out of the box. So the message I'm sending you guys is, um, again, I'm gonna know if you didn't do this assignment properly and your grade will reflect that because I'm looking for you to create all these colors yourself. Um, this green is still a little bit more yellow green than, I'm, than I want, so I'm gonna go back in with the blue again, and I'm just gonna continue to layer. Now, you know, you might be afraid at first to take it to full opacity with these blended colors where I really build up the layers of pencil and start to fill in all of those gaps with color that I, where I see still white popping through. So, you know, it's okay if you hold back a little bit because you really like the color you've gotten. But again, for our project, the idea is that your entire paper will be brought up to full opacity in terms of colored pencil on the page. So you wanna start to practice that idea now. And I might go in for a final layer to really start to, this is actually a technique called burnishing with these pencils, but I'm going to fully blend and mix and try to fill in all those paper gaps in this green, okay? Um, to really have this come together. All right. And again, you know, try to match the sample that I've provided for you, but you don't have to match it exactly, exactly. Just do the best that you can. And as you go through this page, you're gonna really get a good sense of how to blend and mix and have control of getting uh, these colors. So for the rest of the wheel, let's go back to our sample page, okay? Just make sure you are placing things correctly on this color wheel. The center triangle here is for your primaries. Living between each primary is the secondary that then points you to where to put the primaries and secondaries on the wheel. And then you just fill in the in-betweens. And the in-betweens are those colors that are those tertiary colors, which live in between the orange and the yellow for a yellow orange. So there should be a significant color change as you move around the wheel for each of the 12 spaces. For monochromatic, you are going, that's where you're gonna need your white and black. Um, for white, 
I add a layer of white first and then put the color down and just put more white for the next one. The black, I actually put the blue down first and then just put black into it. Um, and then here is just practicing those tertiary colors again for more control. And then here is mapping out more color relationships. Um, the complementary color square here is very important and we're gonna look at that in the next assignment. So good luck and do a good job. Bye guys.